well, I could go a whole Christmas with no gifts and be totally fine, right? But I know for most of us, it's an important part of our holiday traditions. So while I'm a huge fan of opting out of as many gift exchanges as possible, I do know that there are some people that you still wanna exchange some thoughtful and practical and meaningful gifts with. So today I have the best of the best gift ideas. You're gonna love giving these gifts and the recipients will enjoy them all year long. Okay, so I wanna let you know that all of these gifts are in my Christmas gift guides. And so I have a holiday 2023 gift guide. You can click through and see all of these. I also have one for gifts $10 and under. So if you're looking for some great smaller gifts or stocking stuffers, there's tons of ideas on there as well. But why don't we get started? I'm gonna show you the gifts I'm most excited to give this year first. And then also some of the tried and true favorites. Some of these I've recommended for multiple years and you all tell me that they are awesome. So I definitely wanna let you know what those ones are as well. Okay. So let's see, okay, Diana, if you're watching this, don't watch, because I'm gonna show your gift <laughs> first. So for my twin sister, Diana, I saw this. This is some gold silverware. This was from Aldi, but you can find it online on Amazon as too, I'll link to that. They like to entertain a lot. I don't think they would use this for every day, but I think for entertaining, it would be beautiful. So I got three sets of this. It's four play settings, but it has two spoons and two forks each, so I think that'll go a long way. And then this was off Amazon. And this is a utensil holder, so you can put all of it in it. And I love that even when you're not entertaining, you can store all of the utensils in here. It should all fit pretty easily in here. And so I just thought that was really pretty because she hasn't really had a great way to set out the silverware when they have people over. And I'm excited to give this to her along those same lines. If you know anyone else that loves to entertain or host, have you seen this? This is the cheese board deck. It's ideas for charcuterie boards. And so these are different cards in here with all kinds of different ideas. And they're so fun and pretty, and there's just such cool different ideas in here. And then this is a really nice high quality board. This one's off Amazon, it's marble and wood. It is, it's like heavy, it's weighty. And it comes in a really nice box, but I also like to get these at like Marshalls and Home Goods. They usually have good prices on them and they have some really neat ones. But I think this is such a great gift because even if people might have one or two, it's always fun to get new ones and you can always put them out in different ways. And so I think this is a wonderful gift for any of the women on your list. And I think we all know, like we don't really give coffee mugs anymore, right? Like that's not super cool but these mugs are beautiful. They come with a wood lid. They're really great for like overnight oats or coffee or anything. And they come with this really pretty spoon. But what I think is so fun, you could put a gift card in here or these are so fun. I've shown these before, the mug treats. So I think it's super cute if you wanna put one of these in. And the nice thing is that they're packaged in a way, you could give the whole box or you can pull out an individual one and then it has the instructions on it or of course, the hot cocoa bombs are always a hit as well. And if you wanna go a little bit healthier, have you seen these? They're the Kodiak Power Cups, and so they have extra protein and stuff in them. So that would be really cute in here as well. But who wouldn't love to get this? And so again, things I'm excited to give this year. This is such a cool book from National Geographic, 100 Drives and 5,000 Ideas. It's a bunch of different scenic drives. So if you know anyone who loves to travel, what a fun book and a cool coffee table book for them to be able to flip through. And then this little portable karaoke set, we have one child who just loves to sing and perform. And I just love how compact it is and cool. She had one when she was younger, but it was a little more like juvenile looking. And so I know that she is gonna love this. And the number one kids gift that I have been recommending for like six years now are green toys. And these are, there's bathtub toys. I mean, we've literally, I have our original ones here. Let me grab them. So these are our original bathtub toys. We have had these for over eight years and the boys still play with them. They're nine and 10 now. <laughs> they start taking showers, but when they take a bath still, they will still play with these. They don't get grody or gross. The water drains out really easily. I don't do tub toys that have lots of little pieces or make big messes. Like it has to be easy to clean up. These have totally stood the test of time. There's actually some little cars that go with this one and a little guy too. So there's a few more pieces that go with it. But truly, these are the best tub toys, boys or girls. This is the toy that everyone comes back and they're like, thank you for that recommendation. It was so awesome. And then this truck set is also really fun for kids to play with too, all the different cars that go in there and everything. So I definitely recommend these. And this Kinetic Sand uh, set, we gave this to Declan last year and still, so many times when we go over to Diana and Princeton's house, he's sitting at the counter playing with it. And what you'll notice, there's lots of different kinetic sand kits out there. 
what you want is you want one where all of the sand is the same color because the ones that have like a bunch of different colors, you can't keep them separate. They eventually just get all mixed up anyways, right? And so it's really nice that all of the sand is the same color. You don't have to try and keep it separate. Like they literally can just play in it and then it's in this case and when you're done, you fold it up and you put it away. And so this would be great for any uh, younger kids. I think, I mean, it says three plus. I would say ages like three to six, I think would really enjoy this. Okay, a few more things for kids. Uh, we kind of will go up the ages. So for younger kids, sequins for kids, so fun. And as parents, it's a game that we like to play. So I have a couple rules, like I don't keep annoying tub toys. I also don't like to play annoying games with our kids. Like if it's not fun to play, I don't look forward to playing games at the end of the night with them, right? This game is so fun for adults to play as well. Sequins for kids, I would say ages. Um, this is three and up. Yeah, I would say like ages three and four, they can start to get a grasp for it. But all then the rest of the way up, like all of us enjoy playing that game. These games, exit games. So these are kind of like a, an escape room that you can do at home. Super fun. And again, the, the ages kind of vary. There's different levels of difficulty, but I think they're like ages eight and up. Okay, this one actually says ages 12 and up because it's a little bit more difficult, but they have lots of different ones. But really like, great activity that takes quite a bit of time to solve the puzzle or whatever so these have been a huge hit um, and we'll be giving more of these this year this is a great book um, from America's Test Kitchen the complete cookbook for young chefs so this is a cookbook and then they also have a baking recipe book as well so if you have any kids that are wanting to learn how to cook or you're wanting them <laughs> to learn how to cook really great pictures and lots of really good instructions through it so I don't know I think <laughs> as adults we can probably learn from this too and then for like tweens and teens, um, our kids love these LED strip lights. I know our nieces and nephews love them too. And the great thing too is even if they've got some, they like to get more. And so they have so much fun at putting these up. They don't, they're so lightweight, they don't damage the walls or anything. So they can kind of just put them wherever they want. So these are really fun to give too. And then I asked Adeline what are some of her favorite things that she's gotten. So this is a journal kit. The brand is STMPT. You can get this at Target and then also on Amazon, but she really thought it was good quality and enjoyed all the different things. And then also the Klutz brand craft kits have always been her favorites. So I have many of them linked in my gift guide, but any of that brand stuff has always been really good quality and the things turn out so cute. And so she has spent hours and hours doing those craft kits as well. And so she highly recommends <laughs> those two. Okay, I'll show you a couple more kids things and then some things you might want to ask for for yourself. So these are the animals that are microwavable and they have lavender in them. And I don't like giving stuffed animals because I know parents, like our homes get overrun with them very easily. But we gave one to Cora when she was born that was an elephant and she sleeps with it every single night. And so then uh, I wanted to get this one for Caden, Diana's newest addition. And what was cute about it was that Diana had a stuffed panda bear that was like her favorite stuffed animal when she was growing up. Up. So I thought it was kind of cute that Caden could have uh, a stuffed panda too and he smells like lavender so pretty and you can warm it up if you want to so they have something warm to snuggle with. Oh I also have some faith based gifts too if that's of interest to you. Now these are so neat. These are the picture frames um, that you can open up and the kids it has kind of like the shadow box and elastic here so you can the kids can keep adding artwork to it and it's a really nice size and very good quality so these come in a set of two um right around 30 ish dollars we're not supposed to say prices because they always change but just so you know but i think these would be fun like as a grandparent to give or a parent i mean i think I feel like the boys would like these if we even put them in their room right now. But again, they have different colors, but just really nice quality and really easy to be changing out the artwork and to be storing it in there as well. So have you seen these shower steamers? I know bath bombs are kind of a thing, but not everybody takes bath, right? So these are shower steamers that you can put in the shower. There's all kinds of different, like, uh, I don't know, flavors, what's the word? Themes for them. So these are like restore and there's some that are like eucalyptus and citrus uh, to help you relax or uh, if you're not feeling well to feel better. So those are kind of neat. They have a lot of different ones. This is so funny. <laughs> we got Tom, his own nail kit, like I don't even know how long ago. He loves it, just having his own dedicated one. I don't know, maybe most adults do have their own and it's not a big deal, but it felt like it, it, like everyone was always just like, where are the fingernail clippers? So it's like, now he has one, the kids have their own set that they all share, and then I have my own and it's been wonderful. <laughs> so I think this is a great like stocking stuffer or gift for guys. I do have some more guy ideas too that I'll share. This tea is 
so good. So if you know anyone that likes tea or if you're like, I think they might, everybody loves this. It's kind of like the sweet and spicy tea I've shown before from Good Earth, but even just a little bougier, fancier, right? The tea bags are the nice, they're like the kind of like clear, meshy style, like they look fancier, right? So this is, this is really nice. And this, so I get so many comments on my white butter dish with the wood lid, um, and I like it, but it's glass and it's a little heavy. This one is Melmine, Melmac, um, so it's like that kind of thick plastic, and so it's a little bit lighter, and I really like the shape of it. So if you've wanted a butter dish with a lid uh, for yourself, or I think it makes a great gift as well. And then again, gifts under $10. I thought this was such a cute um, makeup bag. I'm actually giving it to Adeline for her birthday. It's just like a really nice size. You can wash it if it starts to get dirty on the inside and it's like a corduroy and just, they have some really cute patterns. So, okay, now a few gifts you might ask for for yourself because I don't like to get expensive things for myself, right? But sometimes I'll ask for them for Christmas. So this eyeshadow palette, I love so much. So, um, let me see. It's it's mostly just neutral, you know? So one thing I've heard is that as you get older, you shouldn't do the shimmery ones, but sometimes you wanna add just a little shimmer, right? So they have the matte and the shimmer, and it's just a really nice neutral, but depending on like what the occasion is, you can go a little darker if you want, make it look a little more dramatic, or just keep it nice and fresh and light, right? So this is just awesome. It's just like all the perfect colors. These are super cool. These are some new walking boots that I got. I wanted boots that, well, I could walk in, <laughs> right? Aren't they cool looking? And they had a lot of different color combinations. They're lightweight, but still have good gripping on them. And so I'm really excited to try these out. Awala water bottles, these are the best. I know like Stanley's are like super cool right now, but what I love about these is it doesn't matter if it tips over, um, it fits in most cup holders. Like you can even just toss it in a bag because it's waterproof and leak proof. And what <laughs> Brittany Vassar has said, she was the one that I first saw talk about these, the shape uh, that you drink from, it is, it's just the perfect way to drink. It has a straw inside, but it's very easy to drink from, not like a normal straw, and the shape of it makes it, so apparently you're not supposed to do regular straws because you'll get wrinkles around your lips. So for those of you who care about that, um, that is a big drawback to the Stanley, <laughs> right? So you don't have to worry about that. And the only thing I didn't love about these in the past was it only came in bright colors, but now they have some nice neutral colors like the Stanleys too. So I think they're right on track. This is the 24 ounce size, which is my favorite. So I don't know. I think these are so nice and a super nice gift <laughs> to pretty much anyone on your list. All right, also, how cute is this purse? Because I don't know, are the belt bags still in style? I don't know. This is nice because it's still a crossbody. It can be or doesn't have to be. But the leather, I'm always a little leery as like, the leather gonna look nice or cheap? I'm not sure if you can totally tell. It looks really nice on here. And it's just like a really nice size. And then, have you heard people talking about bamboo sheets? These are awesome. I don't really get into fancy sheets or thread counts or anything like that, but they're they're a really nice texture. Like. They're kind of, it almost feels like a blend between like cotton and silk or satin or something like that. So they have a little bit of like a nice sheen to them, uh, but very soft, very like wash up very well, very easy to use. The wrinkles come out really easily. Um, so we've been using these on our bed for like six months now and I really like these. So this would be something nice to ask for or a great gift for anyone on your list as well. And then I've shown this overnight bag before, but I just continue to love it. The leather is really nice and pretty looking. And then the bottom has the spot where you can put your shoes down here, which is nice. You don't have to worry about your shoes getting other stuff dirty. And so I've used this many times and I really like it a lot, especially for the price point. It's not that expensive. And a few more things that I use every single day that are super practical, but really nice to have. Um, of course, you hear me talk about the baggie holder. I love this. I also really like the water bottle rack or shelf now that I have too. So I personally think getting kitchen organizational items is really fun. And I haven't showed this yet, but we've also installed some pull out wire drawers, rack shelves, things, and they are awesome. And if you don't have a trunk organizer, I think this works so well for keeping everything in its place. Uh, the shampoo dispenser, I talk about that all the time. It's really practical, has helped 
held up really well and I really like it. And a heated blanket, if you live in a cold weather climate, this is so nice <laughs> to have. My dance go house shoes, I wear every single day. My water pick toothbrush, again, is this like glamorous gift for Christmas? No, but I do feel like my dental health has gotten so much better since I've been using it. My dentist actually said the same thing. <laughs> so, and then a Dyson vacuum, if again, if you're looking for like a higher ticket item, again, we use this all the time. It has held up very well and I really like it. Um, I'm trying to see what else. I know, like, remember, if there's anyone on your list that you're like, I just don't know, gift cards are totally acceptable now. Coffee shops, restaurants, I like all these fun ones they have out now that you can, um, that they're for like multiple different restaurants, so you don't even have to exactly know which restaurant they like. Everybody loves receiving gift cards. So teenagers, our young kids even like them, adults, grandparents, mailmen, everybody, teachers, for sure teachers want gift cards. That's what they've told us over and over again. And so don't worry, it is no longer taboo to give gift cards. It is totally acceptable. Everybody likes getting them. So if there's just someone who you're like, they're just difficult, I don't know what to get them, just give them a gift card, it'll be totally fine. A few more things for kids I just realized I missed, and then we'll talk about gifts for men and faith-based gift. Okay, um, these guess in 10 games are really fun for kids. So again, uh, ages like, well, it says six to 99. Yeah, so ages six to eight to nine, I think would really enjoy these. And then uh, Gage loves to take pictures. So this is a camera that takes the pictures and prints them. And so it's blue. I know on the box it looks pink, but this one is blue. Um, and so I'm really excited for him to have this so he can take pictures and then print them out. He loves to like hang them up in his room and put them around and put them in his little scrapbook that he has. And so I think he is going to love this. You know, anything Melissa and Doug is great. So this is a memory flip game. There's different cards that go in it to change it. So it's not the same every time, but great for travel or just, you know, sticking in your bag when you go to a restaurant or something like that. And another Melissa and Doug. So this I got for Cora. They have a little sandbox um, and it's a sand cupcake set. It's so cute. So they can make little cupcakes. So again, I think you can't go wrong with anything Melissa and Doug. I know our kids had like the doctor set. They paid for that with for hours with that. So I have a lot more things listed that I'm that I'm even mentioning here today, but I really try to pick things that are quality and stand the test of time. <laughs> so that is my hope with all of these things. All right, and then for men, I can link to, we've done a couple of videos for guys. Tom, I mean, Tom loves anything Milwaukee, right? The leaf blowers, the hedge trimmers, the spin trim, the little portable air compressor. I've heard other women say like they got that for their husband last year and they loved it. He also has the heat up jacket now, which he is loving if you live in a colder climate. Um, so anything Milwaukee is usually a hit. I also got him at the organizer for the garage that holds all of his drills and the battery packs. Also these cord wrap organizers. Tom loves to be organized. And again, you don't always know it when you look in the garage, but he really does. And I think most men want their spaces to be organized. So I'm giving these like cord wrap things to both Tom and my dad for Christmas. Also, I know many of you had said car wash certificates, uh, certificates for getting cars detailed are a huge hit. And then I have a few other ideas on my gift list as well. I know they're hard, <laughs> All right? Just like quality meat, grilling stuff, um, Carhartt sweatshirts. Tom likes getting stuff like that too, but there gets to a point where it's like they have all the things, <laughs> right? But I keep trying, so. If you have some good ideas and you'll share those down below, that'd be super helpful as well. Oh, faith-based gifts. How many times do I have to say I was gonna go into that, right? Okay, some really cool new children's books out that I'm, I'm excited to show you. Tama Fortner, who actually helped us write our Decluttering by Faith. So we still have this available, um, our Decluttering by Faith devotional, and it does still come with that free six week video series as well. If you wanna do it as a small group, do it on your own. Um, so we do still have those for sale, but uh, Tama wrote these books, which are so neat. Oh, and then I have to show you the coloring Bible, okay. Um, God, I feel scared and God, I feel sad. Bringing big emotions to a bigger God. I feel like we need these as adults, right? Aren't these so cool? And then she had also last year um, created the um, Nativity pop-out book, which is just really neat. Just a cool way to talk about the Nativity with your kids, your young kids or grandkids. Um, it's just so neat and interactive, of course. Kids love that. So those are so neat. And then Rachel Cruz, has her new book, um, I'm Glad for What I Have. So it is faith-based, but it's all about contentment. It is so good, it rhymes, it is beautiful. You will love reading this with your kids or grandkids over and over again. But this is so cool. The Beautiful World Word Coloring Bible for Teen Girls. 
Um, so I'm gonna give this to to Maggie <laughs> this year, but it's so pretty. And then um, on the inside, it has different um, spaces for coloring and putting notes and everything. And so and it's just nice. It's soft. It's it's a good size. And so it's not just so cool. It wasn't that expensive. I can't remember exactly. I'll also link to some younger kids Bibles too that we have now that the kids really like a lot. And then Diana had given me this for my birthday, the one minute pause journal. This is so cool. Um, and it's just, it has prompts in here. Um, like in the morning, begin with settling down, take a long breath. As I enter a new day, what do I need to let go of? What is weighing on my heart? Pause, what do I need from God today? Pause and ask for it. And then again, begin with settling down, take a long breath. To enter this afternoon or evening with peace, what do I need to let go of? It's just so cool because it's so guided. And I think when we really stop to think about these things, what do I need to let go of? What do I need, right? I just I just think it's so awesome. And you don't, it's just short. Like you just jot it down quick, right? So I think this would be a really cool gift as well. And then still probably one of my favorite devotionals, my utmost for his highest. This is updated in a little bit more modern language, but still so good. So I always still love this one too and go back to it. Okay, I think, um, I think I got to almost everything. One of my favorite hacks now, have you seen these gift wrap bags? Um, we started using these last year and they were awesome. It's just a plastic bag and you can wrap up the gift with some tissue and then you can drawstring it closed. And it's just so pretty and so easy, <laughs> so easy. And you can use them over and over again. So these are awesome. They come in different sizes. They go up to like much bigger sizes too, like this. Especially if you have just like weird shaped or bulky things, these just work so well. I mean, you might not wanna wrap like everything in them, but man, especially if you're in a rush at the end or you're a grandparent who has to wrap like a gazillion gifts, this is just such a big time saver. And then I also just got, I got a roll of 500 of just the sticker uh, tags that you say who it's to and from. And so we're like easy peasy <laughs> this year, right? So those, those are a game changer as well. All right, so these are some of my favorites for this year, but I'll definitely keep adding to those guides too as I come across other ideas or as you share other ideas with us. So thank you uh, for hanging out with me today. Again, I don't always love to talk about <laughs> gifts, but I know that gifts can be a really big stressor if we feel like we don't have something good to give. So let's just give really good, thoughtful, practical, useful gifts, and that actually does feel really good. And not too late to watch our five days to an organized Christmas workshop. So if you need a little help in the organizing and gift giving and budgeting departments, you can check out that workshop totally free with Christine from Frugal Fit Mom and Callie from Butt First Coffee. We had so much fun putting that together. All right. I love you. I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon.